I haven't seen you in the new year. You all right, brother? Cool. Happy New Year, Happy new year to you. Uh, so we live. We live, bro. Man, thank you for getting me in. So what happened? Like, you were leaving. Like, what's funny is you called me. I was, like, right there. And I was here. Yeah, you called me. I was right there driving, right? Yeah. And so I went that way. And I was like, all right, I'm getting ready to park. Really? So why am I going to answer the phone? Why am I going to answer the phone call? Like, I'm right here. Right, yeah. So as soon as you wow. called me, I'm just right here. I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna call. I ain't about to pick up the phone. Yeah, I was just at the yeah, door man. There. So I wanted to, to, uh -huh. to find out where, where you are. So I was like, yeah, yeah. If you have just looked out the window, you'd have saw you'd have saw a Range Rover drive right by. But oh, there he is. So did you see me? No, I wasn't looking. I was just like, why? Why am I pick up the phone? Like you picked up. I was like, let me just send you the voicemail. I'm getting ready to park. So why would I worry, man? Right. You good though? You been staying safe? Yeah. I'm all right, What'd you do man. for New Year's? Just so hung around with the kids. Okay, that's cool, yeah, man. They came, they always be there for me. That's what's up. Yeah, it's been a beautiful end of Good, the year, man. man. Good, man. When you off to Africa or Congo again, you always something. You you almost travel as much as me, so. Yeah, like you, you travel yeah. more than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you every two <laughs> two weeks. Every two weeks, I'm usually traveling somewhere. I, I might I might be off to Dubai like in a in in a few days. Yeah. You know? Uh, just make it nice and neat. No, 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 no. Take it down some, but not too low. Like maybe like a one and a half. Yeah, like a one and a half. You know. And see, how long you been cutting my hair now? Ten years, like a long time, right? Like a long, long time now. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. You gotta realize that, like, you know, the number one thing you gotta do when you travel somewhere. If you're gonna go live somewhere, like if I'm staying somewhere for 30 days, 60 days, yeah. you know, I'm gonna have to get my hair cut in between. Yeah. And it's just like as black men, finding that barber shop, yeah. that's like the number one thing. I remember when I moved to Paris, yeah. That was like the first thing I did. The like it was the first thing I, I seeked out. I was looking online, everything was in French, of course, so I couldn't really understand how to find them. But man, I was asking any black person I could find. I said, I said, where to get my hair cut? Where? A week go by, I'm still searching. You know, and I'm like, I gotta get my hair cut. You have been in China, isn't you? Yeah, I've been in China. Yeah, yeah, I've been in China. Yeah, did you see how, 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 how it, it, it can be challenging to find a, a, a barber there? Yeah. There's only, 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 only one place where you could manage to find black brothers. And it's, it's an area called, uh, I think, uh, Shabay. Mm -hmm. That's even going to do. Yeah. Yeah, but apart from that, man. I think mm -hmm. if I move to China, if I was to ever move to China, yeah. which was a dream of mine, maybe about eight, seven years ago, mm -hmm. just to live in China. Mm -hmm. I thought it would just be all bad, because there ain't nowhere. Yeah, China ain't nowhere. It's no easy, man. Ain't nowhere. Yeah, it's very easy. I did. I, have you been to Guangzhou? To who? Guangzhou. 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 No, yeah. no, I've been to uh, Beijing, Shanghai, and Shanghai, and I've taken like the train from Beijing to Shanghai yes. all the way up. So I've seen like those no, ghost cities. Yeah. Like, there's nothing up there. Like you, I would drive. I remember taking the train up to you know from Beijing to Shanghai, yeah. looking out on the train, and yeah. thinking, why is there this massive city out there? Yeah. There's no way. <laughs> I was like, there's no way there's like 500 million, you know, 500,000 people living right here. No way. Because it's like the middle of nowhere. You know, they built these ghost cities out there. And I was like, it's just obvious. It's just obvious. It's just like, imagine you drive from, you know, like you take a train from, I don't know. What do they call it? The the, the Pennines or whatever it's called here in the UK? I don't know. Imagine it was just somewhere in the middle there that was like a town of a... Like you seeing high rise buildings, you think ain't nobody, ain't that many people gonna be living up here? Yeah. Nah, man. Well, nobody. There was a total ghost city. Total ghost city, man. To total ghost city. Yeah. So my kids yesterday told me I found out yesterday they got coronavirus now. Yeah, man. I was told last night. I was so nervous. Yeah. Have you any of your kids got it? Yeah, yeah. They seem to be fine. Yeah. Any of your kids get it? Uh, no, no, no. 
Yeah. You know anybody that got hospitalized with it? You got you know anybody that had to go to the hospital? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. He had a booster. Uh huh. But is he fine? No. He was, he told, according to what you told me, he was really in bed for almost 10 days. Yeah. But he didn't have to go to the hospital. No. He, That's he the key. Was, That's the key. But it sounds like he survived. Yeah. yeah he survived. So imagine he didn't have a booster. Imagine he didn't have a vaccine. He'd be one of the statistics up there with you and the rest of them acting like it's fake. Yeah. But I think, you know, even if he said, he just said, he said, no more vaccine for him because he couldn't understand how, after having the booster, it had a little severe for him because he reached the point why. He, but he didn't have to go to the hospital. That's he, the key. He didn't want to go to the hospital because he didn't want to go there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he said, he said, yeah, he said, uh, if he, he, he did panic, he was uh -huh. going to go to the hospital yeah. because he, he was. Uh, but that's the point of the vaccine. You know what I mean? The point is you don't know. People swear they know their immune system. They think they know it. It's something that's unknowable. And people taking this crap shit with their life. You know, I went and got my booster shot a couple weeks ago. No, no problem, no effects, no nothing. Right? I think I have a good immune system. But, you know, I ain't taking no chances with my life. I only got one life. Now you're the one who's already said at the end of the day we will die one day. One day we're gonna die. Yeah, so, but I wanna make sure that one day is like sixty years from now. Yeah. That's a long time from now, but you know, at least four I wanna go, I got I wanna live another thirty minimum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Forty. Yeah. I already believe that uh -huh. we, we died the day which was supposed to be ours. Because so somebody can survive the COVID and he died on the on the road. Oh yeah, yeah. Of, of course we're not well, promised this we're not promised tomorrow. Yeah. That's 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 uh that's the number one. We're not promised tomorrow. But why don't you make I what I don't get is let's make tomorrow give ourselves the best possibility to be here tomorrow. You know, so that's like put your seatbelt on a car. Try not to, you know, don't go don't excess speed. You know, you're giving yourself the best chance to be here tomorrow. Nobody's guaranteed. So you're right. You can be in a car accident. You can be in one. But if you're not speeding, if you're getting your car checked, if you got a good, if you went and bought a car that has great uh, reliability and yeah. safety features, you're giving yourself the best chance for tomorrow in the case of these events happening. Okay. And that's what it's about. I feel like this, but my main issue is the trust. Is the what? Trust. 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 Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Trust. That's trust that's is a big why. issue. Bro, you're not going to turn magnetic, okay? You're not going to turn magnetic. But let's be clear, you know, is is like this. What is it going to do to your body? You tell, I always tell this to you. Tell me a drug. Just find me a drug where they do a clinical trial of half a billion people. I'd love to know. They trial 1,000 people, maybe 10,000 people, and then they'll release said drug to the world, Okay. Because they know what they're looking for in the parameters of its safety, da 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 da, da right? Yeah. Well, here we go. We have a drug that has been given to like a billion people, like a billion people yeah. in a short window. Yeah. And so I get the distrust. I can, I can, I, I guess what I'll say is yeah. I can sympathize with the distrust. And I can definitely sympathize with the hesitancy yeah. in saying, like, hey, I don't trust the government. Sure. Okay, do you think I don't trust the government? So I'm gonna be cautious. We should all be cautious because governments can lie and will lie to you. But let's look at the expert. If we can't trust experts, then who can we trust? Because people look for facts and anything. You gotta realize there's people right now who can give you facts that the world is flat. Think about that. They tell you right now to your face the world is flat and give you facts. It's ridiculous. So you can't you can't trust. You know, I'm not going to go to these people, but if I, I'll go to a person who is an expert or has knowledge in said field. I'm not going to go to a painter to tell me about structural engineering. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go to the nurse to tell me how to do astrophysicists. I'm going to go to the engineer 
the civil engineer who knows how to do structural analysis. I'm going to go to the rocket science who can tell me about, you know, uh, thrust and, 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 and and, and, and moments and, 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 and engineering queries, you know. Uh, you know, another point, uh, uh, even facts can be, can be disputed. No doubt, no doubt. Yes, and uh, today, today something can be, can be proven to be correct, yeah, after some, uh, some kind of research. But tomorrow, there will come another fact which shows that, no, what, what has, been, been, has, has been proven to be correct is not correct. Okay, uh, that, that, you see, when I, that, that's, that, those are the reasons why I say, okay. But we can't yeah. set up, what, what we shouldn't do is set up a system, yeah. a paradigm that says we're going to question, we're going to question stuff, but then on the other side, whatever answer that we get, we're just going to throw it out. We're only going to ever look for our biases. We're going to look to, to, if we, you know, if we want to, be on the sky is blue and the sky is red. We're only going to look to people who, if we blue, if we blue sky people, we we always going to reject red sky people, and red sky people are always going to reject blue sky people. The point is just to lay out the facts and be able to have a rational decision to it. You know, you know, you know people early days putting keys to their forehead. Let me go on national TV talking about how's this key sticking to my forehead, and it just shows the depth of like the distrust. But then the massive understanding of like just the natural world, science, the natural world. It shows the, the failure of the school system that somebody really can take a key, put it to their head and think because they got the vaccine, now they're magnetized. And it's like, you've missed a whole lot of stuff. Got so many, uh, so many uh, uh, perspectives, uh, perspectives, perspectives and ideas. And ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but for me, honestly, I would rather really, I don't trust. I rather be careful with anything that enters my body. That's fine. That's and, uh, fine. and especially when it comes to the vaccine. I know previously we had we we had other vaccines. Uh huh. And uh -huh. those vaccines, you know. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'll shut up. <laughs> no. So you were saying, Ziggy? Yeah. Okay. But uh huh. Those are my, my own opinion. Yeah. 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 We we had only one or or any 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 particular cases two. And now it's all this big problem. No. But with this one, uh, they want us to keep keep we don't we don't know. They want to keep keep keeping it. Multiple shots. Yeah, I get it. Multiple shots. I get it. So, I get it. I suspect in my own opinion. I believe, I suspect that it might even affect my natural immune system. Because as you say, yeah, natural the nature. Uh huh. I, I got so many solutions here. Uh huh. Because we live in the nature and there are so many. We interact interact with the nature, uh -huh. and there are plenty of other other viruses in uh -huh. your living. Yeah, that's how our bodies is fighting on a daily basis without any science to be aware of that. Okay, so yeah. think of it like this. Think of it like this. Think of it like this. I have to give it an American football analysis. Okay, if I'm the defense, which is my immune system, and all I know, particular type of offense. When a new offense gets invented, if I've never practiced for it, I'll have no idea how to stop it, okay? If all things remain the same. So I'm all for hesitancy. Like, I didn't want to be first. Like, I took my sweet time. I, uh, I ain't going to be first. I'm a social distance. And I'm going to lock myself up in the house. And I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the circle even smaller. That's what I did. And I'm going to wait, 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 wait. And I waited. But then at some point, I was like, I got to look at the information. I got to see what's going on, yeah. you know, and understand it from and make my decision. Like I always tell people, I ain't going to ever tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, you know, exactly. you know what I'm doing. You yeah. do what you want to do. You make your own decision. Exactly. Um, I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going to force nobody to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. But <clears throat> it's like, you know, natural immunity, that's one thing. I, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, I'm not a 
immunologist. I'm not somebody that does vaccine study. I don't know nothing about it. I can just try to use a rational brain to try to make a rational decision. Simple as that. But and just look at what it says. And try I try to trust science, but I do agree. I got a distrust in government as well. And I think that's the biggest problem is the distrust in government. So these fools Oh, Boris Johnson, what a clown, what a clown. Let's be clear, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, just a little, maybe a, just a little bit. I mean, it's a good size. It's a good, it's pretty good, to be honest. Just make it nice and neat. But uh, I, I don't know. Look, look. It's just, we live in a world of such false information. It just, it just, it, it but it just bothers my mind that people can't make a rational decision. A rational. Like, I got, you know, it's fine to be scared of things, hesitant of things. But some people get have irrational thoughts and irrational fears over, like, a lot of stuff in this world. You know, there's phobia for this, phobia for that, phobia, you know, just phobia, phobia, phobia. And I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, like, I see a, I see a, a, a spider, you know. It's kind of nervous, but if it's like a big huntsman in Australia, okay, well, that's a large fucking, you know, freaking thing. So, okay, that's a rational reaction to be, like, hesitant. But if I see the little tiny, 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 tiny spider, I mean, come on, man. Here's my foot. Introduce you to my foot, Mr. Spider. You know, let's be rational about our things. You know, like, if there's a, a, a you know, you get these huntsmen in, in Australia, like, a big Rational to like jump back. Yeah. Like, Jesus, how, how am I supposed to squint this thing? Uh, they have arachnophobia. Be the tiniest of spiders. It's just not rational. It's just not a rational fear for such a small thing. That's true. That's true. And you know, I, I'm not sure that that's how the world is. People don't use their own, own judgment, their mm -hmm. own common sense to make their own decision. Yeah. People but, just follow what other people are saying. Yeah. Yeah. But Zig, when we go in the Congo, when we gonna go? We need to schedule this trip. I, you know, you, you, you I want to go. I, you know, I've been wanting to go. I want to go. I've been to Africa, but I want to go like to. I've been to the South. I've been to South Africa and Mozambique, and then I've been to Mauritius, which is the island off of it. But you know, I want to go. I want to go to Congo, Congo. Like, I want to be in the deep, deep. I want to be in the. Oh yeah. Yeah, I want to go there. I want to be like, I want to be made like the, the the village king or something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think, I'm, I, man, I, Nigeria's not on the map this year for me. It's just not on the agenda. I mean, it could be, but I just got to let this. I guess, I don't know. You dog on right, the, the, the guy said. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. The guy said, watching it, he says, oh. The barbershop is the last place that men can, as I, as I say this, there's actually two women in the barbershop, but it's the last place men can go to escape women, but whatever. That's what that's what the person said watching it, but now I want to go to Chicago, man. I want to get down there. Like, I had a friend of mine, like, what people don't realize, like, I had a friend of mine um, who used to live here in England. She was the first person I ever met 
England years back. I'm talking years, years back. And she was like kind of the motivation to move to live in Europe once I saw her doing it. But she took one of those trips to um, to Africa. She like backpacked and walked all through. I want to do that. I want to be like, I want to go to Kenya. I want to go on safari. I want to see like a, I want to see a cro- crocodile eat like something, man. Like, you need those places, right? Go easy. You want noise, not the crack place. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nah, I want to be where everybody at. I want to go where your shop is at. Uh, yeah, man. We're going to do it. We're going to do this one. I'm telling you, one of these days, we're going to do it. We talk, we've talked about it for a while. Yeah, we're going to do it 100%. I'm so excited to come. Make sure they're big and busty, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I want to do. I know the place is where I will take you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Don't move. laughs> Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. No, nah, but I, I just because you know I took a DNA test. And so I'm like mainly Western African. I'm i I'm mainly Nigerian. Yeah. But um I don't have any Congolese in me. I mean I'm I'm hundred percent Mandingo warrior though. That's just in the lower section of my body but I remember you told me that you had you did your, your DNA and yeah. they told you that your your your, your origin is it Russia yeah. or 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 like African Nigeria areas? Nigeria yeah most of it is Nigerian yeah. and uh but a hundred percent mandingo in the waist <clears throat> yeah man so what's your plans for the year, man? What's 2022? This is the first time I saw you all year. So what's the stated goals? What what, what you trying to do? Oh, let me move this. Let me move that. Now that'll vibrate. What's your stated goals for 2022? You know, if I can do it, I really want to do something back home. Back home, okay. Yes. Well, last year you opened up that shop back home, yeah? yeah. Or was it the year before? Yes, yeah. So I want to focus. Huh? Mm-hmm. My dream, my dream dream is to reconnect with Africa. Remember that one guy we had in here? I think he was from the Gambia yeah, or he was living yeah, in the Gambia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever since that conversation we had with that yeah. guy who was living in the Gambia, yeah. I think he was American as well. That, that guy- He's, he's, he's Jamaica. Jamaican. Ja- yeah, 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 yeah. Born and bred here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ever since that one conversation, he's yeah. planted the seed of like me buying house, buying a house yeah. in Africa, like to reconnect with the roots. You know, like to be like I can reconnect with the motherland. Maybe, you know, God, the same as me. You know, because I say that yeah, if these guys can be successful down there. Yeah, he was seems to be so successful too in the Gambia. Mm-hmm. What about me, who born and bred there? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I, mm-hmm. even when I go down here, I, like here, I see opportunities. There are plenty of opportunities. And the, you know the reason why I say that you can do well there? Because mm-hmm. you adapt. You can you easily adapt to, 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 to any environment where you go. Mm-hmm. I'm not just here. When you come here, you don't behave. You behave just the way I call it. Uh, according to what you, you see here, yeah, you speak yeah. to everybody. You know, you don't have those barriers. Yeah, yeah, you know it. Yeah. And that is what somebody needs to survive in, in, in Africa, especially for a black person. If mm-hmm. you want to survive in Africa, you have to be like them. Yeah, yeah. but man, ever since that one guy from the, the guy, you know, he's planted that seed in my head. Africa, Africa, Africa. It's been like there. It'd be amazing to reconnect with it, you know. Yeah. And you know now that uh, West, West Africa, not only West, even East, mm-hmm. there are plenty of blacks from the diaspora. The diaspora. People like, yeah. People like you, yeah. They, they are, they, like, they, they, diaspora, I think I'm familiar with the word. That's kind of like being disconnected from where you. Yeah, your roots. Your roots, right? Yeah. I think that's what that word kind of means. Yeah. Yeah. Many of Americans, uh, guys like you, have moved from America yeah. there. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I'll move to live, but I definitely would like. But you know, you know, it starts, it starts, it starts slowly, slowly. You go there once, mm-hmm. then you see, you see opportunity, then you end up by buying a house. Yeah. And once you buy a house, you, and then you, 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 you start, you, you develop some kind of small project. Mm-hmm. And once those projects are now uh, 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 going on, mm-hmm. you'd be tempted to live there. 
Mm-hmm. One, one leg there, you are there, you are here, you are in USA, you are wherever you want to be. One of these days I'm going, I'm telling you. But... <clears throat> And already, you know, you you are already you are already a businessman. You are, yeah. You are into property. Yeah. There is why also you can develop some of the other kind of work because Africa is is a, is a growing the uh, growing uh, continent. I look at it like this: that eventually they're gonna, you know, as the the, the world grows, right, and the economies grow, because if China can lift its entire population, yeah. like it's just done over the last thirty years, yeah. forty years. Yeah. You know, what are they going to do when they finally come to Africa? You know, mm. I want to be there before it hits. Yeah. You know, I want to be, I want to have a foothold before they really started trying to invest in Africa yeah. because, you know, capitalistic people will always try to move mm. to the new frontier. Yeah. And I want to try to get some of that, but not just for money's sake, but to reconnect. I mean, my main driver ain't money. I don't, I don't wake up every day trying to drive yeah. money. I wake up every day. Just to try to, you know, be positive and do something yeah. good for my life, but but I want to reconnect. I want to really, yeah. really, like, do Africa properly. Like, I mean, I spent some time down there, but I want to do it, do it. Exactly. And you know the good thing with that, yeah? you can, you can, you, once you are, you, you are connected, you, know, you can easily go back to your your home, go to mm-hmm. USA. You can also come back yeah, because you've got already uh, things to do here. You can go back to Germany, but at least you are, you know, you'll be proud of, of, of where you came from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel you. I feel you. And you know, this is the right time. No, you don't have to wait until you, 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 you start moving your teeth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I look at it like that. I want the milk and honey now. I want it now. Exactly. So I don't want to do it when I'm old. Exactly. I want, I want the milk and honey right exactly. now when I can get it. You know, well, I got to wait. Well, I got to wait for the Golden Gates on the other side. I want to do it now. I'm telling you, man. You remember, you remember that day when, when we were, I, was, uh, I was in a video with a video call with that. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah, I remember that. You know what you say? The guy looks cute. <laughs> That's because I got you cut, me, though. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I said, wow. I said, 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 yeah, man. Man, I needed a cut. This has been like a month and a half. No cut. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 What'd you I'm do for the good? What when you going on? I'm going, I'm going, I'm, going I'm, I'm supposed to go, you know, I've had a ticket. I'm supposed to go yesterday. No shit. You're supposed yeah, to be in but, Africa yesterday. Right, 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 right. Okay. But uh, I said, no, no, no. No, my schedule too busy to go this yeah. My schedule too busy to go this short, but mm. maybe back half of the year. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy this year to go back. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe next month. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm just too scared at the moment to travel to mm-hmm. uh, too many exotic places, I'll call it. I don't want to get stuck nowhere. I don't want to be like, oh, now you can't come back for three weeks. Are they gonna? Are the government gonna round you up? Literally round you up and put you in a hotel at your expense? Get out of here! What a load of bull! You know, I mean, I'd rather I'd rather spend my two. I'd have to. I would have had to have assaulted a police officer, and they'd have to put me in a jail for two weeks. Cause uh, I ain't about to sit here. I ain't about to sit here and make you make me spend my money. Sorry. You want me? You want me to self isolate? You are gonna have to pay for it. So I'll take one of your, I'll take one of your free beds in one of your jails for two, three weeks. How about that? Right. Okay. How about that? Yeah. I'm not talking about beat him up, but I'd, have, you know, I'd at least flick his eardrum, right. flick him in the ear, and said, "All right, arrest me, please, yes. so I can go, so I can spend two weeks in, in your free jail." 
two weeks in a, in a hotel. Get out of here. My expense? No, thank you. That thing was like $2,800. That was business. You know, those $2,800 pounds. I was like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You know. I don't know how people. And then, like, it, oh, did you see, like, you see, like, you know, remember they was handing out these fines doing these parties and stuff. You know, like during the lockdown. Mm. And then you got Bojo Johnson over there doing a party and, and, and you know, people pay that crap. Get out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me to that man, man. That that guy was yeah. Yeah, that dude's like, from the Gambia, yeah. man. I'm telling you, since that one conversation, that seed has been like there yeah. in my head. I keep telling you, I keep reminding people about that. Me too. That's the kind of conversation I, I talk to people about. I, I, I haven't seen him since, but man, I mean, he, he, he put a seed in me, man. I appreciate it. And imagine that guy is old. Looking at him, I think he might be in his. He looked like he was in his late 50s. Yes. Looks yes, like he was in his yes. late 50s. But see, at least we don't have to wait until that time. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to do all that. Yeah. We'll do this to move it again. Yeah, and his whole family is already there. He took all his, uh, all, everybody. Yeah, man. And, uh, what, what, really, what really amused me, and he, uh -huh. was, he was right when he said, at least you are, people, you are with people who respect you, and they take you like their own. That was the weirdest yeah. feeling for me when I went to Africa, like the south of Africa, right? Mm. Is to see a system where everybody you deal with mm. look like you. Yeah. It was different. It was just weird. It was, yeah. I don't want to say weird. That's not the right word. Yeah. Just different because I'm so used to America mm. and being used to being in the UK, for example, where mm. predominantly everybody's white. Mm. You know, that's just the predominant. Uh, factor, but then when everybody is black, and then it's like the total opposite. Where you know you see white people, you see Asian people. You know I saw every people, but it was totally different. It was like wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was interesting. So is it? Yeah. I bet, I bet it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that many black white people there, but you go to Congo, man, it's just black on the black. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, yeah. even the behavior, it's yeah. typical like the natural way. Yeah, so you find yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a world of you know, where everything is still natural. Yeah, and but the only challenge that you can have there is the only people do things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was so lazy. <laughs> I remember, like, when Mozambique, for example, like, just, like, I went, <clears throat> I went and walked, um, I went to, like, a, a, a Catholic school, you know, like, where they set up a school and stuff like that, and then I remember talking to the preacher, or the, the, the pastor there, or whatever you call it, and um, doing a walk with him, and seeing the slums, and seeing that stuff, it's sad, but then at the same time, walking in the city, I was like, yeah, how much do you think it, I was like, man, how much is it to, like, live here in these apartments here? Man, they were, like, through the roof expensive. Why? Because they were there for the natural gas. You had all these big, like, oil companies, and so it cost, like, a fortune. I was like, no wonder people living in these corrugated roof cities, you know, towns, because you can't live in the, you can't live in the apartment complex downtown, because it's, Five thousand U.S. dollars a month. Like what? Yeah. You know. When when I'm down there, I can't lie to you, man. I I, I it's like somebody is in paradise because you know you are you are not worried about 
nothing. <laughs> well. Yeah. And, and so you you wake up in the morning, you're not thinking about uh -huh. uh, about uh, some uh, this uh, bees or something. Yeah, but, yeah. No, man. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, everything that you see around you, people laughing, people making noise. Mm -hmm. uh, nice, man. Nice, man. Nice, man. So you think we're gonna get back? You think 2022 we're gonna get back to normal? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because we can't predict this. Whatever's going on, because that's what I, I heard in the mm -hmm. news that 2022 things can go back to normal. Yeah. Might be the end of the virus, but <laughs> my goal is to get back to normal. Yeah. I'm trying to reconnect with the world. I'm yeah, trying to, man. you know, I'm back in the gym now. You know, I'm trying to. Just get back to normalcy, man. Yeah, yeah. You was going to China quite a while, man. I remember being in China, man. I'll never forget. Everywhere I walked in China, literally everywhere I walked, like I would have like 20, 30 people following me around. Like I was walking on the Great Wall of China. This is no lie to truth, bro. I'm walking on the Great Wall of China. And people would just come, want to take pictures with me. You know, they would follow me. If I said something, they would laugh. And I'm like, there's no way you even know what the hell I just said. You know what I mean? And it was just like, just walking up and down the, the, the damn thing. And I was just like, it'd be like, okay. Here goes another tour. Yeah, here gonna be another twenty people who want to take my picture, want me to sign something. And I'm like, I'm just me. I'm not even a YouTuber yet. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went down there. I was, you know, uh, uh, I had to go to another city called Goldwas. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, 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 I've heard of it. Man, uh, and I had to catch a, to catch a train. Because, uh, I train. Yeah, yeah. I love those trains yeah, in China, I mean, though. They're nice. Yeah, they're huge. Huge. Train stations are so huge. Yeah, yeah. I was the only black among maybe, maybe, uh, uh, 5,000, 10,000 people. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Train stations are huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <everybody. laughs> oh yeah, I see too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, and now when I when I when I when I did the train, yeah, I was the as the, the only black in the train. Everybody was just looking at me. But here's what's funny to me. Yeah. Now that I think about where we've been for the last yeah. two years as a society, yeah, for being in China, I remember I went to China. I had a, I was wearing a mask. You know, I wore a mask yeah. everywhere I went, yeah. and now. We as a society been wearing masks for the last two years. Like, man, I thought when I was wearing the mask, I was like, man, how weird this feels. And now it's just like normal. It's just a normal everyday experience for the mask. Yeah, I'm waiting on things to calm down because last thing I'm about to do, yeah, take it. I want to take it down. Just want to take it down. Now I'm not, I'm not going to China because ain't no way I'm gonna get caught on a lockdown in China. No way. No way. Not gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. Nah, they'd be like, you can't even leave your room. No, thank you. Mm -mm. I'll go. I'll go when things are a lot better. Yeah, those guys, they don't even respect the human rights. They would yeah. never. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember going, like, because, like, when I go places, I go into, like, I go where the people be. Mm. I try to get off the tourist trap, you know? I mm. go where the people are. Mm. And I remember I did that in um, in this little village, you know, like a village way outside of uh, Beijing. Mm. I walk into the restaurant. Mm. When I tell you the cook, the owner, mm. the whole, you know, the people, there was, like, four people there. Mm. I tell you, everybody came out the back of the damn restaurant just to greet me, <laughs> taking pictures with me. They noticed that they're not, they're not, they're yeah. not enough. Yeah, you know that? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I tell you, everybody that. came out. It was like three chefs came out the back of the, the damn kitchen. <laughs> you know, the host, the hostess, the oh, owner, oh. the three people that was actually in there eating. Imagine. I was like, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> 
I was like, yeah, we exist, man. We're not like, we just not on TV. You know what I mean? We we real. <laughs> we real. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, but China was beautiful. It's a beautiful place, beautiful people, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese people, they are also good. Yeah. The only problem which is there is the barrier, the, the, the language barrier. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But in, re in reality, they are good people. Of course. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. The only guy that I, I, I know that I'm, I'm afraid of are the Russians. Really? Yeah, but no, I've never been in Russia. No, I've never been in Russia. Yeah. I'm not scared I'm of Russian yeah. people. No, nah, I've never been to Russia. No, nah, I, 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 I really, yeah, exactly. I'll really be in trouble. I'll be the born identity all over again. I think I'm carrying government secrets. But nah, I want maybe one day. I, Russia just is for some reason just not a country like I want to go to. Like I could go, and nothing stopping me from going. It's like it's not on the bucket list to go. It's just not a thing I want to do. Yeah. You can't judge yeah. what you see on TV. Exactly. The media. Yeah. yeah, of course. I remember I remember even before the World Cup. What BBC was telling people about uh, mm -hmm. about Russia. Man. It's cold, yeah. yeah. It's cold and it shit stings. <laughs> what are you talking about? But it is not very cold. You say that, shit. Maybe you, you know you weren't under the knife just now. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Ziggy. Yeah, man. I got to, yeah, I got some meetings right now. I got to get to right now. You know, a little British money. Thank yeah. you. Cheers, man. Now I got some business meetings I got to do right now, actually. So, you good, though? Good, brother. Thank you. Well, you got some, um, where's the, some disinfectant. Yeah, let's figure something out, bro. You know I want to go. Sounds good. Sounds good. Woo, he's back. All right. All right, Ziggy. Catch you on the next one, bro. Woo. And there we have it. There we have it. Let's see these questions. There's a few coming through. Let's see if we can get to them. What do you think of the trans man refused to haircut a male barber? I say they did the right thing. Ah. Uh, Exactly. You can shave. I can shave my hand for five minutes. We go for the for the chat. Swing by, drop a like and share the love. That's right. Come to the UK. Great start talking about Muhammad Ali. Full jabs. Only need to stay in isolation for five days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, where am I? At? Fucking street. Oh, there we go. Whew! Now I'm shining. You know how everybody, man. All, all my brothers who get their hair cut. You know that feeling when you get a fresh cut. That's when you're feeling the hottest of your life right now. Ooh, he's back. He's gone from caveman to the man. Just like that. Don't answer it. Sorry to put what on this book. Oh, no, I'm not on the spot. Don't worry about it. What do you think of the trans man refused a haircut in a male barbershop? Look, I don't like... I'm a. am going to address that question right there because that question... Is about discrimination, really. And 100%, I'm against any type of form of discrimination. I don't think we should discriminate. Now, trans information, trans stuff, how I feel about it, that's a very deeper thing. I don't want anybody to be discriminated against. Anybody, you know, if you open for the public, you open for the public. Um, that's my view, you know. In terms of somebody being trans, I don't give a crap. What you go by, you know, it's just the question is like, uh, like what uh, Dave Chappelle says, it's all about how much do I got to participate? 
If I ain't got to participate, I care less what you do. You know, but if I. You be you, you do you. That's all that should ever matter. Be the best you you can be. You know, I don't care. Everyone won't be trans, be trans. You won't be gay, be gay. Because guess what? I ain't the one that got to sleep with you. It's the character of the person. Yeah, oh, listen, don't let the sun fool you, okay? It is, well, it's heat. It is 1 o'clock now, so it has heated up. So it's a little warmer. Um, but, man, this morning it was absolutely freezing. It was zero degrees. Car was absolutely frozen. But luckily I got remote to start, so in the house I turned it on, let the car heat up, and then I leave the house. So I don't ever have to come to a cold car, but others do. But it's warmed up, not a cloud in the sky, which is cool. Got this head hair cut. Now we're about to be about our business. It's one o'clock. I gotta be somewhere by two, so I got time. I got time. Hope I can make it. I'll make it at least time. But that's me at the barber shop, man. You know, getting that fresh cut. Hope I'm looking good, looking slim and trim. Man, these cars are flying to a red light. When are you gonna let me go? Muchos gracias. Thank you. But yeah, we go to the barber shop for the chat. That's where we go. You know, you can cut my hair in five seconds, five minutes. I can cut it all off. But you go there for the communication to talk about anything. But that's my man Ziggy there, man. You know, he's a funny dude, and um, we keep talking about trying to go to Africa together. One of these days, I'm going to go with him, because he speaks, like, a ton of languages. He speaks French, he speaks Congolese, he speaks English, he speaks a bit of Italian, he speaks a bit of Arabic, I believe. He speaks, man, he speaks, like, five languages, at least five languages. And I know he speaks French well. He speaks English totally fine, of course. Um, but that's my dude there, though, man. I've been cutting my hair for a while. Nice guy, stand-up guy. You know, I was supposed to get my hair cut yesterday. He wasn't about. He wasn't about. But what's everybody else doing? Check in. Where you Where you watching from? What you doing? I'm going to do this for a few more minutes before I got to get out. Let's show you a bit of uh, England, huh? Boom. Let's turn this camera around. There we go. A little bit of England for you. So you can see it. That's probably why I heat it, overheat it. Yeah, I am driving on the road in Derby. Ooh, I know what I can do. Show y'all something. On my way to work. Nottinghamshire, man, you know, I love, oh, North Hampshire, North Hampshire, yeah, I like North Hampshire, too, beautiful place, beautiful, 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 nice, I love it, I love it, thanks for watching, man, thanks for tuning in, I'm trying, you know, for those that are new, who've come to my channel, have been watching these videos, I'm new to doing, like, live videos, so don't expect this to be the, the full polished article, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just a guy with a camera, trying to create a YouTube channel, trying to put content out there, trying to put some positivity in the world. So if you don't mind, look at some of more of my content on my channel. Have a look. You know, consider subscribing. Leave a comment. I'm always going to get back to people in the comment section. I bet you this thing is so shaky. Um, but, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to figure this out. I want to figure out a, a lane that I can be in for live videos. You know, if that means I need to invest in, like, making a studio, a proper studio and do live conversations, then I will. But at the moment, it's really just about, um, thanks, man, on the 5K, man. It, it's amazing. I never thought I was going to get, I never thought I was going to get 5,000 subscribers. I was trying to get 100. I remember when I first was like, okay, I need to get 100 subscribers. When I tell you I hounded my family and friends, I was like, look, I know at least 100 people. I know at least a hundred. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask about four hundred people that I I know do something cheap and easy, cost you nothing. Hit the subscribe button.
started from. Then I was like, all right, I'll just try to put some videos together. Bro, I'm telling you. And, but, that, but that's the thing that hurts the most. When you ask your family and friends, there's a video that I made where I literally shout out my sister, my cousins, and I kind of like shame them. Because I wanted to see if they were going to watch the video or not. And, you know, they never made a comment on it. Hey, Carla. You know, I, I see Carla. Carla's a, uh, a subscriber. She all, this person always on my uh, page uh, in the comment section. So thank you so much for that. You know, but then like... Um, Miss Apple, I'm seeing you more and more often as well. Thank you so much. Let's do this little detour here. Let's 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 just do a little drive. I got a little more time to kill, so let's just drive a little bit more, Darby. A little bit more time. Maybe if I, for those that stay with me, I'm gonna go by some place that where it all started for me. Give you a little quick, quick insight of because I get the question, why did I come to the UK? Why did I come to Darby? Let me give y'all a quick, a quick insight for those that want to know. So you get to see. I'm not going to ruin it. I'll just drive by it, and then uh, let's see what we talk about. But back to, like, into these 5,000 subscribers. It was amazing. You know, it's been pretty cool of uh, a journey to do that. I want to get 95,000 more. So if you know 95,000 people, please tell them to come to my channel. The more the merrier. All thoughts welcomed. All races, all creeds, all thoughts. You know, I'm only, I, you know, what you see is what you get with me. Positive dude, trying to just uh, live my life, do my thing, and go on a journey, because life is a journey. So, hey, why don't I share it? But, one second here, one second. Man, it's hot in the damn car. One second, here we go. One second, here we go. So, yeah, for those that just might have joined I'm going to drive by some spot here in Derby, where it all started, of why I'm here. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Um, I don't know if you saw yesterday in one of my videos, uh, my children got COVID, so I'm worried about that at the moment. But they seemed okay. They seemed okay. And so, uh, but outside of that, I'm cool, man, just working like everybody else, trying to squeeze in time. I'll go to the gym later today. Maybe get a swim in. <clears throat> but let me show y'all where it all started. I'm getting kind of, I'm getting kind of close. I'm getting kind of close. I can see it. So let's like just kind of turn this camera this way. There we go. Here's your typical British street with your bunch of terraced houses. Bunch of terraced houses right there. But let's see what we get to. Now, one thing Darby is known for for the locals, is this bridge. It's called Spider Island. Spider Island, which is kind of coming up. Let's see if I can get by it. But, hey, they got rid of the showcase cinema. Yeah. Got a house down that road there to the left. See, Sainsbury's. I don't know if I even pronounce it right. Sainsbury's. That's where I used to go grocery shopping when I first came to Darby, right here. This beautiful Sainsbury, this roundabout here. Not a big McDonald's fan either, but, uh, you know, I've eaten at this McDonald's plenty of times. Let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get here. Where it all started. Go back to the beginning. Let's go back to the, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Where it all started. Why England? How did I end up in England? How did I end up in this country? Well, part of that story is down this street. Pink coconut. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Hey there, Mr. Motivator. That's me. I guess that's my new name as well, huh? I'm just trying to, you know, trying to put a little little positivity into the world. When I think about motivation, and I was going to say this in my video when I go to the gym. I'll give you a sneak preview. It's about showing up. You got to show up. That's, that's the key. And we'll, we'll get that later. I'll be on the next live video that I do when I go to the gym about showing up, you know. 
or I might change it or something. I got another. There's two other things I'm going to do, but that's one that I'm thinking. But let's get to where it all started. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Let me see if I can steady this thing. Man, it's been a while since I've been over here. It's where it all started. This is what brought me to the UK. This campus here. I don't know if anybody can see the names on the teal. I used to work in that building on the left. You have dressed. I used to work on this building in the right. Man, ain't nobody here. Gosh, dog. Nobody here. Everybody must be working from home. Everybody must be working from home. I'll tell you a true story. When I first got my first bank account, there was a bank right here on the corner here. It's no longer here. That was the hardest thing to do. But this is where it all started, where I first, first, first came to England. I used to work in that building right there. And there used to be a bank right there where my fingers just kind of at, right there. Like, right where that cone is at, essentially was a bank. There's no bank there anymore. You can't even drive through this place anymore like it used to. But, man, memory lane, man. Memory lane. It was years ago. I bet you everybody's working from home. Ain't nobody here. Wow, it's like a ghost town. One o'clock in the afternoon. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There must be like a serious delay between. Yeah, there must be a serious delay between where I'm recording at and then your comments. Because I hear sorries for my children coming in, but that was like 10 minutes ago. Ooh, look at that. Did I just see some water slides? Yes, I did. Wow. Wow. Wow, you can't see it. Wow, look at that built. Wow. Nice. Oh, man, that's so nice. There's a new, what do you call it, a council public gym workout facility. Man, it's nice, nice, nice. Wow. Super nice. Super nice. Wow. Wow, this is really nice. We got indoor swimming. With, with, wow, that's so nice. Man, what do you call it? More a sports village. That's what it is. Coming spring 2022. Wow, it's super nice. A sports village. Wow. This, I'm going to have to partake. I'm going to have to partake in that. All right, we need to get back. It's 1.15. We've got about 45 minutes. We can do it. But, yeah, that's where it all started, right down there. That's what brought me here in the first place. It was a nice, pretty day, though. Nice, pretty day. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me. Got quite a few viewers at the moment, which I like. So I want to thank you. It's been cool. Pretty amazing. Like I said earlier, I have no idea what I'm doing with these live videos. The production of it, how to run them, what to talk about. But I'm just trying it out as a new venue, as a new way to engage with the audience, engage with you guys so you guys see more of me, get a more understanding of my personality. I try to put as much of my personality in the videos as I can. But, you know, it's limited because sometimes I got to try to uh, cut up the video, you know, because not everything I do is in one take. So sometimes I got to try to, you know, show you guys the real me, the real Carl, the behind the scenes Carl, you know, and uh, go from there, man. But yeah, that's where it all started, man. Right there, came here years back, years back. 12 years back. And I look at that like, where did the time go? So, I'll keep going as long as there's people here. I'll keep rolling. You know, this is just a drive through England, Derby. Uh, you know, 2022, today's January, what? What is today? It's January 
13th? Yeah, it must be January 13th. Wednesday, Thursday. Damn, it's Thursday already. Dang, where'd the week go? It is Thursday. January 13th, 2022. Darby, East Midlands area. Derbyshire. Just driving. Went to the barbershop. Gave you a little insight of that. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Wonder what everybody else is doing. I know some, some people going to work. Some people just watching me for entertainment value. Let's get going. Let's see what we got. Whew. I want to thank all people watching, enjoying, stalking, maybe. Nah, nah nobody's stalking. Everybody's nice. Everybody's nice. Ah, day off. What do you do, Carla? Carly. What do you do, Carly? Day off. <laughs> lunch time is coming to an end. I've enjoyed a nice change. Take care. Enjoy your lunch time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll try to make them as entertaining as possible. I'll try to uh, figure this live thing out. You know, what you guys think of it? Hey, now, retail. Ah, okay, retail. Nice, nice, nice. Well, hook me up with a discount then. You know, I like retail. Now I don't do shopping. I have been to Liverpool. I have been, you know, people, so... Let's see, let, I'm glad this came up. I'm glad this came up because it gives me something to, to segue to. Because my video that I just put out a couple of days ago is going great. And it's about uh, racism in the UK, for example, right? And the question is, how have I been in Liverpool? Because it's come up quite a few times. I've been in Liverpool. I got some old pictures of me being in Liverpool. I went to the Slave Museum. Amazing. I don't call it Slave Museum. I call it the Nautical Shipment museum that has a part about slavery and the Titanic and all that kind of stuff, but there's a part on slavery. I've been there. I thought it was amazing. I've been to Liverpool. I've walked to Liverpool. Um, beautiful little town. A lot colder than I would want it, where I'd want to be. I probably wouldn't want to live in Liverpool, to be honest with you. Um, but nice people. Had a nice time. I remember going to the... I went to an Italian restaurant called Gusto which is Italian for, um, like, delicious. I speak Italian, for those who didn't know. So it just means, like, delicious. But um, <clears throat> I went there, and, man, was it freezing trying to go on the dock there, like, the, 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 the waterway. There's, like, a, a place where you, you know, there's a couple of restaurants right there. And I walked up on there. It was absolutely freezing. And I've been there, but not a lot. Not. There's plenty of places in this country... I want to go to plenty, and I want to get it on the agenda. Eventually, I'm going to start doing um, weekends away again, you know, because what people, you know, you guys get a sense. I travel a lot. I, I move about a lot, but I haven't had this YouTube channel a lot, and I haven't, like, recorded places. Yeah, I haven't recorded places that I've been, and so when I, I'm going to try doing that more this year. Some might be live videos like this. Some might just be video. Cause I talked about it in one of my other videos. Is that when you become a YouTuber, part what happens is is you sometimes don't partake in where you're at. You don't live in the moment. Like I'm creating content to be in the moment. Where sometimes I just want to be in the moment. You know, I just want to be there and enjoy the scenery. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, hey, I got to record this. And I gotta put this out there for people to see, and so it's like a it's like a catch twenty two. So I'm gonna try to uh, be mindful of doing that going forward in this year. Man, what's going on, man? What's up with the popos? Are they slowing us all down? Look at that. What happened here? I rode down to tell them they can't park here. Okay, what happened? Ah, oh, looks like we had a car accident. Boom. Let's do a looky loo. Reporting live from the scene, international call here. Telling you about the accident. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
What time is it? One thirty. Okay. Hey, I got 30 minutes. I got to really boogie. I got to go south of Darby. I go south of Darby. Got to go south of Darby. But, yeah, I got to be in the moment. Got to stay in the moment when I go places. But then when I go places, I got to remember to shoot those same places. You know, it's weird. And then it's, like, weird bringing out the camera. Hey, can I record? You know, like when I was in the barbershop, I asked for permission. You know, I say, hey, can I, do you mind if I record? You know, some people say no. You know, if I'm in a public place, I'm just going to record. But sometimes I, sometimes I want to just partake and be somewhere and just be there. So, yeah, we rolling. We rolling now. It's a nice day, though, nice weather. Jesus. It feels like now I'm catching... Oh, here's the Royal Darby Hospital, for those who might know where I'm at. Royal Darby Hospital, I've been in there. They saved my life. Thank you very much. True story. They saved my life um, here in the U.K., the H.S., the nurses, a couple years back. Had to have surgery, emergency surgery. I went in, went into a walk-in center. I've been to Cornwall. Been to Cornwall. I went to the emergency center. Walking center, they were like, no, you need to go to the hospital, like, right now. Like, now, now, now. As soon as I walked in there, they was like, yeah, we need to operate. And they operated on me within, like, a few hours. It was urgent, but it wasn't as urgent as some other people. So I got bumped from, like, 10 p.m. at night to, like, 8 in the morning. And then I went at 8 in the morning. But then that was it. It was great. It was great. I was very thankful for that. Very thankful. And it was free. Didn't Well, you know. People argue that. Is it free? Is something free? Yeah, it's free. Right, let's hit it and get it. Let's hit it and get it. Hope that everybody's having a great day. And the week is here. It's Thursday. It's 1.30. Here's some motivation for you. If you're, in your, if you're at your job right now, you've been there since the morning. you got one day and a few hours to go to the weekend. Yeah. you got one hour, you got a few hours and a day to go, and then it's the weekend. I love the NHS, man. I'm thankful for it. I'm so thankful for the NHS. You know, it was cool. I, I Okay, I'm going to apologize now because the reception is going to be terrible. So I probably better sign this video off. Come on now. Go watch one of my videos. I got a load of videos up there. Loads. Please watch a couple if you haven't already. Consider subscribing to the channel. Drop me a comment because you know I'm being in the comments. And I will see you in a few hours when I got motivational words to talk about. So with that, I'm out. Peace.